guys, it's James Cassini. Hope you guys are all safe and well. So today, guys, we are going to be continuing on Euro 2020 or Euro 2021 predictions of this video. So we're going to conquer Group C. So with me today, I have actually got my sister who is on commentary as well. My thank Michelle. you. Hello. Thank you, James. Thank you for coming to join you today, James. Nice for you to join me as well. So we're going to start off with Group C. Now... What I have noticed is FIFA do not have three of the teams that are actually in Euro 2020. So, Michelle, can you just explain the reason what is going ha is going to happen? Okay, so the three teams who are missing from the game are North Macedonia, Ukraine and Slovakia. What They're... we've decided to do is, I've had a look round around the world... Not, we're not bringing Daft Punk into this. Around Europe, <laughs> shall we say? Oh yeah, let's say around Europe. And what we've got to do is we have to try and develop who is the closest country to whoever. So in this case, for not Macedonia, we have picked Bulgaria. For Ukraine, Ukraine, we have decided to go with Romania. And for any fans there uh, who's who support Slovakia, who will be in our Group E video, we have decided to put their neighbours, Slovenia. It's basically near enough, very close, but like I say, just a bit of a different matter within the flag. So, just to let you know, guys, I did mention this in the last video that I've done, so if you've not watched that video yet, I suggest you please go back and watch Group B before you end up continuing watching this video. And also, if you're still on this video as well, please go back to the very beginning to know what has happened. Don't be coming halfway through the video and then thinking, oh, what's going on here? Because I want you to watch the whole series. And plus, guys, subscribe if you are new to my channel. And also, don't forget to hit a thumbs up, guys, on the videos that I created. And I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I'm now going to shut my gob and we're now going to get straight into the first fixture of group C so if you are a North Macedonia fan I do apologize but you are going to be cheering on Bulgaria okay so this is what it's gonna be there are the strips and like I revealed guys in the last two videos as well these are not gonna be the exact players that are going to be in the actual squads for the teams so don't be saying oh why is such a body not there why is such a body not there like I say this is <coughs> only prediction and yeah what we'll do at the very end of the video we are going to do like the tables on what has happened all the way through the series as well so uh, i am now going to shush and me and, me and my sister are going to be the commentary for this game so it's going to be austria versus north macedonia slash bulgaria and me and michelle will see you on the pitch. Okay, so Australia, uh, sorry, Austria versus Bulgaria. We have Austria who be shooting from right to left, and Bulgaria shooting from left to right. Through the first half, and it has been a very quiet half at this moment. There's been no chances. It's been mainly around the centre of the park at the moment. Yeah. It has been. A little bit end to end. And the Bulgaria throw in there. Let's both try to get the crossing. Linia stops in. It's gone straight it... into Schlager. Schlager. It's now Sabitzer on the attack. Austria. Austria's man Sabitzer. Calls it. They're working very well, them two up front at the moment. Cross it. Well, let's go. Sabitzer. Can he find a man? He's just not there. His own man there. Will it go? Oh, good save there by Ilyev. Try to find Despovich to Ilyev. The striker Ilyev that is, not the keeper. He's not playing off on this one. Kaladze. We find a Lina. pass. He does. Lina good save. the ball quicker. Side. Sabitza, is he going to attempt to do... Oh, well good block there by Bozidov. Let's go 
out straight back to the keeper and it's been cleared midway up the pitch. We are five minutes away from half time. Austria in the possession, scoring a goal. Oh, Sanka. Nice interception there for Bozidov. Lena on Despov. Lena gets it back off Despinov. Savica. Kaladzic. Oh, nice tackle there for Bozidov. Back up the field to Despidov. Cecilio. We are currently reaching injury time and there is going to be one last chance for the first yes. half and there is no minute. So there. That's the final chance. That's the half time, time whistle. whistle at this moment and it is Austria nil, Bulgaria nil. Bulgaria with the kickoff. Bulgaria with the kickoff this time, and we've got Austria going right to left, Bulgaria going left to right, and Bulgaria are on a storming attack here. You got Yolmos trying to go through all the defence, and he's gone for a free kick. Despinov for a free kick from 28 yards. Is he going to go for the shot? He, he does. Oh, finish. Just, just wide of the post. It hit the back of the pole. Glad's it. Austria needs some support. On the pitch, he's going to get tackled. Um, Boston Kov, done very well there to see. It's a great from Boomagana. To Ilma. We're currently half an hour away from the end of this fixture. And Ilma, Ilsanka, Alaba, and it's a goal! David Oliver, who is currently playing on the left wing for Austria has scored the first blood in this game. Let's watch the replay of that. So David Oliver tries to play it out wide. El Sanko is there and he just threaded a simple free ball free both the defenders. David Oliver just thought, you know what, let's have a crack and just hope it goes in. And David Oliver, as you can see, is a bit cross-eyed on my screen at this moment. But who cares? If he's cross-eyed or not, it's 1-0 So Austria. The captain has struck. It's buzzy tackle, and it's a, it's two against one. Kaladzic. He's got support. He's got, got Sabitzer there. Look at this yeah. ball number two. Yeah. No. Spent back to Osanka. Alaberg. It's sure. a Sabitzer, and it's a goal. Savitza, very lucky how Austria got through that, as the build up for the goal it was just a 2 on 1 and then as soon as Savitza played the ball back, he played it back to Alba, Alba was there straight away, Savitza knew what he was doing, left handed shot, straight past the keeper. I think the keeper should have done a little bit better, he slight, to it a little bit earlier. Slight touch off his hand there. But not good enough. But with 12 minutes to go, it is 2 0 to Austria. Gladzic, due to Alaba. So Gladzic, Alaba. Oh, oh is he going to. Ilsanka? Ilsanka is a great save. Nice David Alaba has been blocked. Very lucky defending by Bulgaria there. Indeed. It was a bit sad. Uh, Kaladzic again. He's got a runner in he space. Boom Gartner's is in space there. Huh? Injury time. This may be the last chance. chance. Great oh. save by the keeper. And then that was the last chance, maybe. And there's the full time whistle. And that's all she wrote. And Austria end up taking the lead of, of Group C at the moment, taking all three points. Goals from David Alba. And Sabitza. Miss your man of the match. Who is he going to go to, do you think? Uh, I'd say Sabitza. You go to Sabitza. Sa For me, I'm going to say David Alba, G2, getting the goal and the assist. And the full time whistle, as you can see there, the score says a full time Austrian 2, not Macedonia, slash Bulgaria, no. Netherlands. Versus Romania.
now. Remember, Romania are supposed to be taking over Ukraine. So... We continue with Group C. Me and my sister are going to see you on the pitch. second game in Group C, which is the Netherlands versus Romania, or oh, like I say, it's supposed to be Ukraine in that. And as you just see flashed upon your screen there, please ignore Lee Dixon and the others. Your commentators today are myself, Michelle Cassin, and my brother James. Let's get into the fixture. So we start with Netherlands with a kickoff, going left to right, and Romania going right to left. At the moment, we've got David Klassen on the ball. Who gives it to Wijnaldum? To Berghaus. Balls with Wijnaldum. To De Jong. Is he going to... Oh, Wijnaldum. Berghaus. To Pais. Great save by Nita. Forward pass to David Blind. Is he it going to reach him? He, is he going to keep it in play? He has. He's done well to keep it in. Oh, it's been oh, with a quick throw into Memphis. De Jong, can you find a cross? To De Jong again. To De Jong, it's Wijnaldum. No, Klassen! Klassen! And it's in! David Klassen scores for the Netherlands. The centre midfielder comes straight to the camera. He's about to knock us out. Uh. Give him us a punch up. <laughs> Nice bobbing and oh, weaving there, great David. Play. Great play there by Ronaldo. Nice pass. And it just basically just slid in straight in front of the keeper. Keeper couldn't do much about it, even though it was close. And David Klassen scores for the Netherlands. 1 0 to them with 20 minutes gone. Is that to Hadji? Can he pick out a man? Yes, he can. Pass it back to the best. He's sticking on to Blind, who closes him down. And it's gone straight back to Jasper Sillison, straight back out to Daly Blind. Now, on the ball now, we've got Memphis, we've got De Jong, who is running alongside of him. And it's gone to David Klassen. He tries to find Memphis. Daily Blind, it was close, but it's picked up by Memphis. Bit of a cheeky, cheeky attempt there on his chest. Blind on the ball to David Classic. Memphis, a great ball, and no one was there. Sure. the finish when Alden was there. Cherry Kiss kicks it out. Half an hour gone in this first half. 15 minutes to play. A single attack, they come forward. Now. There's another chance for the Netherlands, it seems. The old is oh. at the post. Oh, look there, Frankie. How do you not know it's Luke? Because the ball, the ball on the pitch, and we don't know who's who. <laughs> oh, Luke. It's been cleared out by Romania. Camera, the left back on the ball. He tries to find Coleman. He actually keeps it in this time. But intercepted them. Um, the bridge. De Jong. Mateus Dirac. To De Jong. David Klassen. Forward to. Berghaus, can you reach It's just nope. out. Throwing taken by Kamora. Stands you. Just give it straight to the opposition there. Wijnaldum to De Jong. 
Memphis. Memphis, he's got support, he may go in by himself. Oh, he had Look, the young women, me. but needs to just pick it up. The half time whistle for the first half. There's not much to say, but the Netherlands are just absolute boss the whole half due to David Classing. Second half begins, so Romania left to right and Netherlands going right to left. They are now on the counter attack. Can he find Memphis? Memphis is still going. He's got David Klassen in support. Papescu's following him though. Memphis fans without them. Them. And Oof. it's just buried wide. He could have like if he would have left it, they would have actually had the chance. He even could have done a quick layoff to David Class in there as well. We've got two substitutions. Goal scorer, David Class is coming off uh, Donny van der Beek. And for Romania, Hadji is be being replaced by. What's about there? Man. What a name. <laughs> oh, what a man, what a man, what a man, man. man. So he finds Marin, the main man in midfield. Big full set. He's gone for man. man. He's gone for a cross. He's trying to be a bit cocky with a bicycle kick for a cross, but he's gone straight to Sillison. Dumfries, can he find a cross? He, he has. Can. He has found Malin, the first third substitute who's just been on. De Jong. Move to Dumfries. Passes back to De Jong. Passes forward to Malin. Darun! 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 Makes it 2-0 to the Netherlands and what a simple goal that was. From the Manchester United man. Shame he's not had that many fixtures this year for Manchester United but they may have put the point on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to make time a couple of games next year. Well, it was straight past the keeper. Keeper had absolutely no chance saving it. And Van der Beek <laughs> goes flying high. And it's 2-0 to the Netherlands. With less than 10 minutes to go. Go. To Rune to Malin. He's gone back straight to De Jong. He's also got Malin back in the middle. Oh, we're going into injury time. Memphis two on the two ball minutes. At the moment. Darun, he's got Memphis as a run, he's got Malin. Van der Beek again, again. straight in Nisa's hand, and I think that will be the final straw. And uh, there's the full time And it's finished 2 0 to the Netherlands. Very well played by the Netherlands. Romania Dilly didn't even have barely any attempts whatsoever. James. Donny van der Beek and David Klassen. James, your man of the match, please. My man of the match for this, I'm going to go with David Klassen. He ended up getting into the positions that was needed. Um, also, he actually took on a couple of players when needed to, and he was always got into the positions that was needed, especially for the goal when Minaldo found him. And, and yeah, pretty happy with that. I will second that. Well, second that. Nice one. And that is going to be. Oh, before we do, we've got the stats of the game. So as you can see, there's not much to mention. As you can see from the screen, it finished two nil, two nil to Netherlands. The Netherlands, as you've seen, David Klassen and Van der Beek scored both of the goals. Six shots, six shots, four on target overall. The one shot from the Romanians, they edit one hundred percent shot accuracy, but. Main dominance of the whole game was the Netherlands overall. And that is going to be the end of this video, guys, for Group C. So let's just have a quick refresh on everything that has happened so far. So we have had Group A. As, as Group A stands at this moment, we had Italy, who absolute thrashed Turkey 4-0 within the first game. And who top Group A? Then we had the goalless game with Wales against Switzerland. It was, I think, it's the most one of the most boringest games we've had at this moment. Then we move on to Group B. What we have had as well, 
We had the biggest shock when Russia ended up beating Belgium 2-0. And also Denmark finished 1-0 against their game against Finland due to that goal by Christian Eriksen. So Group B goals as Russia go on to... Russia go... Russia are currently in first, Denmark second, Finland third, and the main the main team to actually try and win it and the main favourites, Belgium, are bottom of the group. And, and today's fixtures? Which are currently Austria versus North Macedonia or Bulgaria. As you can see that game finished 2-0. And also in this game that we just watched, Holland versus Holland versus Ukraine slash Romania. That game finished 2 0 as well. So as the table stands, Netherlands and Netherlands and Austria are both joints in first and as you can see North Macedonia art slash Bulgaria, Ukraine slash Romania are both joint for second in the group. But at the top of the actual table will be Austria because of their name. Which is correct. So, yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And hope next we are going to be rolling onto our next fixtures, which is going to be England against Croatia and the Scots versus the Czech Republic. So, two big, two big clashes for the teams from Great Britain there. I, it is, and I am definitely looking forward to the next video. Like I say, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you are brand new. And please look out for the next video I'm going to upload. And if you do enjoy this series, please write down in the comments below what your score predictions will be for the next game. And together. And and remember, people, stay, stay safe, safe and, and stay, stay standard. standard.